The Origami Dripper. Easily one of the most beautiful pour over drippers around. Just don't drop it. <laughs> I love using the origami because just look at it. The thing is a vibe to use. It's fun. It looks cool. It makes great coffee. And even though it makes very similar coffee to a lot of other cone shaped drippers, it just is a lot of fun. It's fun to pull out. It's fun to look at. It's fun to hold. It looks great. And it makes a really good cup of coffee too. So when I first got into the origami, I did um, larger single pour recipes, which are fantastic. And then I started wanting to mess around with pulse pour reps recipes, which a pulse pour recipe is just doing a series of smaller pours instead of one larger one. The problem is with pulse pour recipes is they're kind of complicated. They use a lot of numbers and they're hard to remember. And when you have a lot of kids running around, things can just get a little bit chaotic. Did you see my Chemex video? Okay, hang on. No, no. Anyway, when I started using this, I set out to create a pulse pour recipe that was easy to remember, dad proof, and made a great cup of coffee every time. So I'm gonna share that with you. The first thing about the origami is whether you're working with the small size like this one or the medium size, I use Hario V60 filters. And the reason for that is because they're cheap, they're easy to find, and it says right on the package, tasty. So for the small origami, I use the Hario V60 size 01 filters, just these ones that come in the plastic pack, and they work great. So before we get into the recipe, if you haven't already, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I would love to see you again and bring you more great content like this. So how this recipe works is I use a 16 gram dry dose of coffee, that's 16 grams of ground beans, with 250 mils of water. That's a one to 16 ratio, pretty standard for pour over recipes. And all I do in order to do the recipe is I do five pours of 50 grams each at 30 second intervals. That's literally all you have to remember if you wanna do this pulse pour recipe, very simple. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna pre-wet your filter, then you're gonna dump out the water. If you haven't done this, grind up 16 grams of coffee. Now, after you pre-wet your filter, take a chopstick, toss it in here. I'm gonna cut away to it here. Um, I'm gonna do something called a Kabomi divot. You don't need to do this. I'll record a video on it and link it, but I'll just give you a quick sneak peek on how it's done. It's not too complicated. Dump your coffee in, give things a shimmy. Then you're just gonna go around like this. Super cool, right? Now, this is the super easy part. All you're really gonna do is you're gonna make five pours of 50 grams of water starting every 30 seconds. Dead simple. So I'm gonna start my timer and I'm gonna start my first pour. I'm gonna start in the center, spiral outwards, try and get all my grounds wet. Then I'm gonna give it a very vigorous swirl. Then I'm gonna wait for the time to hit that next 30 second mark. All right, so I'm gonna start pouring. I'm gonna pour very gently here. I'm gonna try and not agitate the grounds too much. I'm gonna slowly spiral outwards. I'm not gonna wash the stuff off the side. I'm gonna try and get the water to break up just above the surface. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna create shallow agitation and it's not gonna disturb that bed of coffee too much. All right, I'm at the next 30 second mark, so I'm gonna do another 50 gram pour. Again, very slow, very gentle. Don't go too close to the edge. What this shallow agitation does is it, does, it keeps the bed from getting disturbed a lot and it helps throw any fines, any really tiny particles of coffee out to the side. All right, so I'm at my next 30 second mark. I'm gonna do another 50 gram pour. All right, so now I'm at two minutes. I'm gonna do my final 50 gram pour. Pour very gently. Try and not agitate the bed down there too much. You should start to get this clear look on top. Now we wait. Now, what you wanna do here is you wanna adjust your grind on each subsequent brew so that your brew is finishing up. You'll see the last bit of water go out, you know, anywhere between the three to three and a half minute mark. And if you can get it to draw down within that amount of time, then you're likely gonna end up with a great cup of coffee. No tricks, no hassle, no remembering crazy times. 50 grams of water every 30 seconds and you're good to go. All right, let's see how that tastes. Oh, it's perfect. 
Give it a shot, let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know how it goes in the comments. We'll see you soon, cheers.